Hello and welcome to my channel. Before I start the video, I wanted to thank everybody who liked my previous video and subscribed to the channel. Uh, this is a new channel I just started. I'm very excited to see where, where it goes and I'm just very thankful for whoever uh, follows this journey. I kicked off this channel with the first episode of Fellow Travelers, and let me tell you, that was something else. That was a roller coaster. Give me jealousy, jealousy, love, <laughs> anger, pity, fear. Mm. Uh, it got us introduced to the characters of Hulk and Tim, and he told us their stories through two timelines. One started in the 50s where Hawk met Tim and essentially he showed us how back then in the US in the 50s there was a lot going on, uh, gays were persecuted, um, they were blamed for things that were happening. I still need to learn my history so I'm not going to pretend like I know everything that was going on but the main point of it was that team fell in love with Hawk, but Hawk couldn't embrace that because of everything, because of society, because of the pressures of the persecution and everything that was going on. He couldn't allow himself to feel the same way. And in the present, in the 80s, we see how Hawk is already married, he's got a kid and he's forgotten about Tim until another friend from the past comes into a party that he's hosting and tells him that Tim has got HIV and he's probably gonna die, I'm not sure, but I guess that's the premise of the show. Just, I hope we don't get, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to see that and it's gonna be really sad and not looking forward to that but yeah I guess that's the show so yeah this is fellow travelers episode two let's start before I, I stop talking previously on fellow travelers Tim's organizing his life mm. Would you like they're giving us a little bit of a recap I just want to know you I don't like being questioned like a witness the greatest of sins God will forgive you and make you pure actually a lot of things happened in the last episode like, you and make you pure and that's the problem this show is when actually so I good oh my god there's a little intro I was not expecting this intro it's actually kind of cute Okay, this is very, very gay, and I love it. See you. This isn't between me and Mark. Well, I don't want you anywhere near my brother. No offense. It's not between me and you either. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get that it's the sister and she wants to protect. Oh my God, that's him. Ooh. No, that's not him. <laughs> okay. Oh, they really played me. I think you'll be relieved to not have to see him. Why would I fly 3,000 miles if I didn't want to see him? So that you can say that you tried? Mm. I wonder how long they stayed together before they broke it off and like he got married to Lucy. My daughter Lucy, son oh, Leonard. That's Lucy. You know, in the last episode, I wasn't like completely sure who was. No, I think I did know Lucy was, uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't think I'm a lot dumber than you thought that I think that I thought I was once. Have you become shy? Well, the men in Europe are much bolder. You've heard correctly. Oh, because she was meant to go to Italy. I remember that from the previous episode. Congratulations! Congratulations! You two, get closer. <laughs> now, smile. smile. Senator McCarthy, this is my friend, Mary A. Johnson. You can pick him, Tim. Lovely. <laughs> I wonder if she knows, because like, I remember it was her and this other woman at the office. I wonder if she knows or suspects that he's gay. Money, I want you to meet some people. Are they together? <laughs> It takes a confident man to bring his own mother as his date. 
Oh no, his mom. Thanks for being my. That's weird. It's my pleasure. I mean, sweet, I guess. Oh my god, again, here we go with this show. They just. They don't waste any time to show us some. <laughs> Every time. It's like when you least expect it. Boom. <laughs> I think she might be growing fond of me. She doesn't want to. Skippy. That's what you're worried about. Is she in love with him? She likes women. Oh. Oh, she's a lesbian. Why didn't you tell me? We're friends. Fair enough. Loose I mean, he wasn't. Ships. His secrets to tell. Keep seeing each other. You both need cover. That's actually clever. You see, lesbians and gays unite. Crazy how Hulk is so Do different like when like one? the behind closed doors. He's so sweet. He's so nice. Uh, he's so affectionate. But obviously, like he has so. to keep up this persona. When they call me back, I'll quit. No, he's not. Where I can eat what I want and f what I want without anyone giving a damn. No, oh, they're so cute together. I wonder how much of this show it's going to be set in the 30s and at what point it's going to start telling us the present story in the 80s. Or it's always going to do that, that jump back and forth. Hey, hey, take a breath. How are we going to see you again? I'm going to look outside and make sure it's clear. Oh, I see, because they... They can't be caught. Take the stairs. Oh, I hate that. Oh, shit. You have to be so careful not to. Oh no, something's gonna happen. Morning. Morning. Yeah. New paper boy. Ah, oh, of course. I don't think that was a good excuse. That sounds suspicious. The sheer volume of deviants in our midst, of twice as many federal employees for homosexuality. Of course. Quite simply, we are overrun. By the gays. It's always the gays' fault. Just as I thought. Trash. I don't know why you're not more concerned about this. When's your next date with him? No, oh, he's trying to protect him. Or protect both of them. I mean, he cares more for Tim, but... Yeah, they need to they need to pretend to be together just so they can get away with it. Oh no, this woman, she knows. I think she's gonna be the one that's gonna bring them down. And take short man? Ooh, girl like that'll fit in real nice around here. He a little pinky. Right there, that is the last thing color folks need. One of our own doing this dirty. Ask me. The last thing we need is black men spitting on our greatest poet. That man needs to get more <laughs> uh, I hate that talk. The thing is, I love my straight friends, but they can be so insensitive when it comes to this because all they know is to be straight. And like, obviously like now things are different, but like growing up, I had experiences like this. All anyone talks of is politics. I'm grateful I didn't burden you with any. Who is she? She's mum. Is that why you asked me to lunch? Man has a right to see his own oh, yeah. mother. Oh, yeah. That's the mum. Nope. Your father is dying, Hawk. I think it's real this time. And he's had a change of heart. Doesn't seem likely. Did he pretend to die last time? More than anything, he'd like an apology. It's a significant inheritance. And it's yours for a simple apology. So prideful. <laughs> mm. He looks so hungry. Direct challenge. My parents would be so proud. Does it bother you that they wouldn't be proud of who you really are? Oh my god. Daddy, chill. For most of my life, I thought I was going to be a priest. Oh wow. 
priest. That went out the window with... So all this pretending, I... Sh you think I'd be good at it, I've been doing it my whole life. Will you come to my house tonight? I'm having some friends over. Rainbow friends? I guess I'm in the right place. Come on in. <laughs> Oh, he's just so cute. I want to be friends with Tim. Everybody? Everybody. Hi, Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. We came together, but uh, no, we're not a couple. <laughs> oh, I love this group. It's a little bit, little bit easier with women because I feel like they hide it. They can hide it easier than guys. Oh, at least they have each other. Oh, this is so wholesome. Um, just gonna hate it if someone discovers them or something bad happens. I wanna protect all of them. They just wanna love each other, that's it. Some of them might not even be political or that they wouldn't keep all they care about is being happy, being able to love who they want to love. Poor Tim. I think he just wants to be loved. And he just happened to find someone who the thing I don't blame Hulk for the way he is. I just feel like He's very protective of himself. He has a lot of walls and I don't blame him because I would, if I was in that situation, I'd have to be. That was a fun evening. Yeah, sure was. Mary says you're Catholic? I am, or was. I miss God. I have God. Mm. I'm celibate. Oh. You have to decide what matters most to you. Do you though? Like. I think that's what religion does to you. Nothing against like whoever's religious, but that's just my take on it. Um, I feel like it sometimes religion asks you to pick sides when there is actually no side to pick. Just being you should be enough. Period. Where is he? Oh, is that he's he's gonna um, he's gonna apologize okay. to his dad. Mom's so cute. You know, it was a long drive. I wouldn't mind resting my head for a bit, if that's all right. I don't think he likes his family much, but I guess it's because he's had to hide his real self so for so long that he doesn't feel comfortable around them. Senate Affairs. One moment, please. I really don't like this character. This Nothing against her, but I just know she's gonna... I can see the homophobia in her eyes, if that makes sense. Oh, I think that was bad news. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. I... She's doing a good, good job because she's getting under my skin. Who reported you? I, I don't know. I don't know. He kept asking me out. And I kept saying no. And so men, they don't like hearing that. Like, the thing is, just because I don't like you, it doesn't mean that I'm a lesbian. I mean, he was right, but... Do you think the dad knows that he's gay? And all that remains is your apology. For making me endure rumors about my homosexual son. For me walking in and having to see you on your knees to that boy, oh my Kenny. Gosh. He, he actually saw him. Oh, this explains a lot now. I'm sorry, but not a single fucking soul gives a shit. And that you didn't knock first. There is someone now. I'm glad. 
I think she's happy for him, but she's also worried as a mom because of everything that's going on around, like, especially in the States back then. She has a reason to be worried. I would be worried. Mary has the bedroom, I pay less for rent. It's a full mattress sagging on both sides. Photographs, no scrapbooks. We don't have time for that sort of thing. We're both dedicated to our work. And so you're aware, Miss Stewart, we may have questions for your family and your co-workers too. These. Why do they have to do any of these? This is so unnecessary. Like, what are these people gonna do to you? Oh my gosh, just let people be. Mary has a girlfriend. She's being investigated. It doesn't matter how she got their attention. She did. How do you know they live together? They asked me over. Write this down, word for word. Mm. Dear Mary. That's a good, that's Just a good write. idea. Just write, you have to. It's a way to save her. But I'm not sure they can save the other girl, the girlfriend. But I've always known we have no real future together. Okay. I can't do this. You broke the rules, Skippy. You went there, you palled around oh. with a bunch of queers. Okay. You're practically on record. Do you realize that? And I'm just now hearing about it. You keep it's writing. It's to protect himself. It's not to protect her. It's to have an alibi that he was in love with her. Mary can use the letter to clear herself. Pin it all on Caroline. She loves her. She would never do that. Is she actually going to do that? <laughs> I would never be able to do that. That's that's why they're so different because Team is a very emotional person and Hawk is just, he does whatever is needed to survive. I don't understand us. You mean, you want me to what? Stay for an hour for sex? Hey dad, I'm on a date but I could be free later. Oh my god, he's so upfront. It's like, he's a daddy. With everything that's going on, aren't you even a little concerned? I'm young, dumb, and full of. Not everybody else is. Take care of yourself. That's the thing, it's not just about you. You might think you're bulletproof, but have you, are you thinking about the other people you're with? Maybe, maybe you are bulletproof, but what if you get it to someone else? And that's why a lot of people ended up getting it, just because someone else was being reckless. I can tell he's a lot wiser now. He cares about others. <laughs> Doors open, Maggie. <laughs> Damn. Did you forget your keys? And maybe the dementia is setting in, but I think Hawkins Fuller is standing in my apartment. It's not airborne. Oh, he's not as happy anymore. Yeah, it's you. He used to be full of joy. I was very much in love with Tim, but he broke up with me. Caroline may have been part of the reason why. Tim kept trying to warn me. When we were intimate, he said he thought there was something off about her. She admitted it She's was true. Doing it. This actually breaks it my heart because it's like, how can you trust someone? She You're with this person, you think they love you, you love them, but at the end of the day, they're gonna, they're gonna do what's right for them. Did, did they talk about this? I feel like she's doing it behind her back. I hope they talked about it and the girlfriend was okay with it, but regardless, it's... It's so horrible. It's so horrible that someone is pushed to do something like that just, just because of what's going on. Why are you giving this to me? Because my paper doesn't have the power to tackle this. And you do. I think the worst thing, worse than being gay back then was being gay and part of another minority group, like black, Asian, or Latina. And what do you wish to confess? I've had carnal relations with a man. 
are you truly sorry for this sin? Yes. Oh, here we go. Again. So that was the end of the episode. I'm not sure what to think about this one. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's still developing the story. It's making us understand, like making us settle in that time and letting us know how big of a deal it was to be gay, like at that time, um, how you were persecuted just for loving who you loved and the length of like the things you had to do just to avoid being discovered that was that just it just makes it it makes you reflect on like the life that you have right now and like we are very fortunate um that things have changed at least a little bit it's not it's not the best but it's a lot of progress compared to like when you see something like this and you see your life right now i see my life i can be with the person i love i can be outside in the world and obviously there's still places around the world where like they live this like of a um, other countries where it is illegal, where you're not allowed to do any of this, and if you discovered, maybe you you get worse sentences than what they used to get back then in the in the U.S. Um, but I think it's more about I don't know. It's it just makes you wonder, and and again, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I'm guessing it is. Um, and it's just sad. It's just so, so sad. Uh, so this, the last, the very last scene just tells us how Tim is sort of going through this spiral of rejecting his sexuality. No, I'm not sure if it's just reject. Yeah, I think it's rejecting his sexuality because he wants to embrace um, his religion, his faith. And since they can't, they cannot overlap, he has to separate them. And that's why he's confessing his sins and he's trying to ask for forgiveness. And I'm guessing he's gonna try to avoid Hawk. It's really unfortunate for everybody, but yeah, I guess it was what it was and they couldn't do anything about it until they did, I guess. But for now, it's just hell for everybody. Well, so that was episode two of season one of Fellow Travelers. Um, I'm not sure where this story is gonna go, but I'm guessing we're just gonna see um, how, how like the story progresses into the present and like what led to team getting HIV and to Hawk getting married. I mean, we already, we're already starting to see why, but like the things that happened in between. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And for those who are interested on seeing a full length reaction, please uh, check out my Patreon, All right? Thank you. Bye.